Hey everybody, how you doing? It's OCD Mikey here, and um, we are in search of the perfect sub for Magnapan. Um, I have had for a long time uh, regular, um, shall I say, well they're very good drivers. I use Acoustic Elegance 12 inch uh, drivers um, in towers with two passives, um, and um, but I wanted to try some servo subs. And so I got in contact with uh, Danny Ritchie of GR Research, and um, he's got this kit where he has servo subwoofers, and they, um, they come uh, in a kit along with some amplifiers, and you go ahead and have uh, the cabinets made, or you make them yourself. Uh, and so we are going to, I'm going to take you through the whole process of this, and we're going to see how, how hard it is to put them together and build them. Um, and how good they sound and all that kind of stuff. I'm taking a step of a leap of faith um, with Danny. I presume he really knows his stuff. He's been around a while. I normally would not buy a plate amp, and especially a plate amp whereby one plate powers three speakers. That's the kind of thing that just gives makes my blood curdle because um, you know I'm weird and 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 uh, purist, and I would rather have three amplifiers for three subs. Um, I'm sure any engineer will be like, that's ridiculous because the amp doesn't know the difference between blah, 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 or whatever. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm weird like that. So anyways, I'm, I'm totally trusting in Danny. I, I think these are going to be phenomenal. Um, and so we will see. So this is how they came. They, there, there's six of them. There's one, uh, uh, two, four, and then there's this one's out. And then I've got the other one uh, in, in the other room there. But you can see how these, these are the servo subs. These are 12s. And, um, you know, these things are really, really, really stout. Huge ferrite magnets on there. Um, and uh, we've got the driver coil on this side. On the other side, we've got the servo coil. So it should be pretty easy. I think these all get paralleled. Uh, and so um, they should be pretty easy, or series rather. Yeah, they're series, not parallel. Um, and so um, it should be rather easy to wire. I'm going to use our silver-plated copper in a 12-gauge. Um, and uh, and we will... I have to drill the cabinets, but I'll show you those in a second. So this is how it starts. Um, where are, i got to find that other amplifier, wherever it is. Um, but anyway, so this is how it starts. There's, there's going to be three of these per side. So let's go on to the other part. Hold on a second. Okay, and here are the completed, let's see, here are the completed kits that have been, that we did, uh, let's see, okay, so here are the cabinets as we have done them here. So as you can see, they're done extremely professionally. Um, there are no seams. And um, they're done with a nice finish that is a, a durable finish. Sort of like a, um, a PA. You know, something that's like a commercial uh, strength. Um, you can see again, no seams whatsoever. This is done in Baltic birch. That's how we've got all this done. These are doubled up in the baffle. You can see the layers of, of the birch there. Uh, doubled up in the baffle, doubled up on the edges, and then we just got the single layer in the middles uh, on, the, on the way down, and then we've got a double layer base. Right there you can see how well this is put together. Um, and it's got all the, the spots. There's little divots for, uh, for the screws. And um, so um, I figured we would offer these as well for some of those that don't like look the DIY kit that is offered the the flat packs are about 900 bucks I believe for a pair of these okay so $900 and then these things come unfinished and flat and you've got to put them together with these dowels and biscuits and all this stuff sand them down and finish them yourself what a mess um, I can have these put into boxes and ship them direct to you guys completely finished like this for maybe 300 bucks more than the flat pack uh, and uh, 
then you can just plug and play. They'll be drilled for the wires, everything. So um, that's next. Oh yeah, and included in that will be, here's for the, the plate amp. And the same kind of deal. Look how nice that box is made. It's got these uh, vent holes for venting all the way around. And you can, if you want to, you could put a fabric in there and staple it to the inside or something, or even just a nice, um, a grated, a grate, like a metal grating, so that you, so that, you know, dust doesn't get in there and, and, and whatever, and you can, it's not so, you don't see everything so visually um, striking or whatever. So I'll put something in there on those. So, um, yeah, so I'll put these up on the site, and they will be available for anybody that wants to do Danny's kit. Um, I will also offer the baffles in an H frame like this for again it'll be I'll have to figure to crunch the numbers but it'll be like three hundred dollars more so like twelve hundred bucks maybe thirteen hundred on the max for for both of these um, including both of the uh, um, amplifier cases or when it yeah amplifier boxes so um, that's that so that's the next step I'm gonna have to go ahead and put the drivers in there Get them all screwed down. Of course, I'm gonna use black screws, uh, and so they, they're not seen. And then figure out how I'll finish them off. But nonetheless, I'm gonna finish that, and I'll be back. Okay. See okay. You. So here we are now. We're in, the, in getting into the phase here of putting the the drivers into these into these um, cabinets. Uh, so we got our, our wire that we're gonna run. We got some silver plated copper there, tools and stuff, and we've set in the drivers already. Two of them that are going to go in and then the other this one will go in in reverse so that the forces offset one another you know the pistons are going this way and that one the pistons are going that way it would actually be you know for my mind better if i had four subs so it was equal but that's all right i think we can do we can do all right regardless okay so here's the other one they're pretty stout man pretty heavy this is pretty thick stuff and once we got it all loaded up it'll be nice we'll put some spikes under the bottom to couple it to the floor and um and then we'll put the um let's see yeah there's the the uh amplifier that'll be for and some more subs so we'll get this all wired up and hopefully we'll have some music here in a little bit so we'll see uh... okay everybody so my place is a mess welcome um here's uh danny Ritchie's deal um I'm, I'm gonna have some preface to this i guess i'm picking up on a different day than i recorded that other stuff but here's the finished piece um you know i showed you the cabinet actually i think you guys mentioned before that um, I need to turn the lights up in here. So there we go. Now let's see. I can probably turn this exposure down now. Okay. Um, okay. So these are um, the GR Research um, H frame servo subs. Okay. So you see right there, direct servo subwoofer. It's a 16 ohm. And um, we've got three of them. We've got two firing forward, one firing backward to sort of equalize the forces, you know, of the, of the, of the dr drivers moving. Um, and so we made a nice cabinet for these things. You can see sort of how it fits in there. Um, Danny has some foam that goes here. Um, but I'm looking here and I'm seeing, I wonder how high that foam is. It would, I, don't, I wouldn't want it to touch the surround, but um, I don't think it will. Uh, so we'll see if that makes a difference. He said it was to keep the, you know, the sides like from vibrating. I don't know, man. There's not going to be any resonance in that. Not much anyways. Maybe those those things, but not these. That's for sure. Um, and so around back, you can see, and this is a mess right now because we've just been, I've been trying different stuff and um, protoing. And we're just, we're just trying to see how, listen to it first, and then we'll put some nice, we'll make nice, um, covers for the wire see like that whoops let me come back right here what the heck man let's see i'm gonna do this like this yeah well, it's poor lighting conditions i guess um anyways um so yeah so you can see this is just the quick easy wire and then this is the stuff where we, we we wrap it up and make it nice and we'll tuck it all the way so you can't even see it um but okay so all in all okay here's the other the other sub towers that i have and these puppies are for sale um but you see that they've got center active and these are two um passive 
radiators. These things make killer base. Um, these are really dead. Um, they've got like concrete inside or some sort of mineral cast. I don't know, something or other. It's heavy. Um, so I replaced those. I put these in now. These three are all active. There's no passives in here. They're all active and they work with this um, plate amp from Rhythmic. Okay, and you can sort of see all the parameters that it has. You know, um, it's got a equalizer there if you want. Could switch in and out. It's got delay and crossover point. And then these are cool things down here, the extension filters and just different ways to totally dial it in. Um, and um, so far so good. I normally, I just cringe at the thought of plate amps. I think it's ugly sitting back here. Um, you know, I don't want this thing sitting on my floor, um, but whatever, you know, I might maybe tilt it up, you know, or something. I don't know, but, um, it's just, um, after I'm done with all these, you know, after testing everything, then I tidy this whole thing up, get it all nice looking. Cause right now it looks like a, just a mess and I can't stand cluttered stuff. I've been, I've been trying tube rolling with the preamp, you know, with some, um, Holland B bugle boys. Um, and anyways, so we've been trying some different things and getting it all dialed in. So now I'm going to play you a little something and, um, I can turn down the lights for this, get the mood right. <laughs> uh, ladies, man. Um, and so, uh, okay, so we're going to play a little something and you can see, um, okay. So this song would kind of used to load the room a little bit with bass, um, because it's got, got a lot of bass in it and, um. And percussion and you'll see how um it's very much balanced at this point um the the these these subs are, are are uh they don't just don't load the room so much and they're better with the magna pans um just because you know they're quicker and they can they, they stop they, they what a servo what a servo drive sub does in case you're wondering because not everybody knows is there's a sensor on the cone uh on the on the um inside in the, the motor right there's a sensor um that um can tell you know how how the woofer is moving in and out and it compares there's a compared something that, uh, that compares on the uh in the on the plate amp to the signal that's the incoming signal so if there's a difference between the incoming signal and what's coming out or the movement on the driver it's going to adjust that movement and if it needs to stop it and just stop it right on a dime stop that driver uh, so there's no overshoot, you know, or overhang or whatever, where there, you know, it's, it's really, well, you just listen for yourself. So, um, here we go.
So you see what nice tone that bass has? It's really got some very nice tone. It's very musical. It's very... Oh, it's accurate and... and, and, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, articulate. Uh, so it's it's very, very, very nice. Um, all in all, I'm pleased with Danny Ritchie's product. Um, and um, just so that you know... So his kit, Danny sells you the drivers and the plate amp. So on each side, I've got three drivers and a plate amp. So to get six drivers and two plate amps, it's two grand. And then, which is, that's like really nothing. It's two grand. And then you have to make your own cabinets, okay? And that's where it gets a little dicey. Unless you're a pro, you know, um, you're going to want somebody else to make them for you. And um, Danny uh, has a guy, I guess, on the forums or something that makes flat packs. Um, and then you still assemble them and finish them and have to paint them and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to offer these, the ones that I made like this, I'm going to offer them up. The, the flat packs, I think, are eight, they're $860 if you get them with the boxes for the plate amp. And um, I think I'm, I'll do them like this for, say, like mm, 12 or 13. Um, and um, they will be completely finished. Um, and uh, and they will be, there will be holes drilled for wiring. And... Uh, what else? Um, and there will be the the the, the um, boxes for the crossover as well. And I'll come up on one of these. Well, actually, maybe I better turn the light up. So look for these on Eleven Stereo if if you want Danny's subs. Um, and you can get them single or doubles or triples or quads, probably. I'm sure. Um, so here's you can see how well this is done. You know, there's no seams or anything, man. This is done by a pro company here that, that does. PAs, you know, so they do they do a killer job on this thing, man. Um, so it'll be just like this. It'll be doubled, doubled sides, single um, uh, uh, braces in there, and then a double um, platform on the bottom. And I may I may do that different. I may not do a platform, keep it in the same tower. I think I'm going to just keep it a nice slim tower, and then I'll put outriggers out the side, metal strips with spikes out there. Just uh, I think it'll look a little not as... I don't know, frumpy or something, you know, it'll look a little more stealthy and cool. So, um, so anyways, um, you'll see that on 11, 11 stair because these things are, yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure I'd want to grab flat packs and try and put them together myself personally. Cause I'm just not like Mr. Grade A woodworker dude. That's going to do an awesome job and like, no, no, no problem. But anyways, so yeah, I do recommend the product, man. Um, Danny gets a thumbs up, um, on his, uh, on this, the subs, man, they're a great addition to the Maggie's. And I've got a big surprise for you guys on Monday. So three more days from now, and there's going to be something to show you. All right, see you.